Wait. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Mecha Will Plays Horizon Zero Dawn. We are on the eve of the PlayStation event tomorrow. And future me will know if this was a great idea to play this game or not. I mean, I'm having a good time either way, but I feel like they're going to announce Horizon 2 tomorrow, which is going to be quite an awesome reveal if that happens. Um, so, we're here playing the game today. Um, and, of course, tomorrow we will be there. I guess this doesn't really help for YouTube, but, you, you know, always check twitch.tv slash mechwell. That's all I got to say about that, all right? It's very simple. It's a very simple uh, premise. Um, right now, we're going in the wrong direction, so that, that'll tell you something here about our... <laughs> about our... Oh, no, somebody's playing the roulette game. Oh, we got him! Mr. Cheesenip was was uh, playing some roulette in my chat there, and he lost. Very sad to see him go. Yeah, don't worry about this guy. Don't worry about this guy. I feel like we've done this section just a little bit. It did, it did take us a little ways back, which is A-OK -okay with me. And you can't stop. And you won't stop. So, yeah. Uh, like I said, we were going off to talk to, like, our mom or something of the sort. We're caught up in this crazy rat race. The world just doesn't understand us. We're a seeker of epic proportions. I didn't even see that guy, I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> um, but we, we took care of him anyway. And I don't know. You know, it's the, it's the classic chosen one quest setup thing. But I'll be the chosen one if you want. I'll put on the Harry Potter glasses. I don't mind a one bit. Excuse me? If at any point in time you guys see... Uh, my face melting into sweat. You can just blame that California sunrise. Somebody saw. Who saw? Everybody saw. Okay. Understood. But did they consider, though, that maybe they didn't see what they thought that they saw? Maybe they're not thinking what I thought that they'd think that I thought they would think was. Isn't that possible? Wouldn't, couldn't that be true? Bandy with me a bit about that. Come on, give me a little, uh, give me a little extra juice here. None of these guys ever want to talk. You know, they don't know who I am. I could be selling, uh, incredible wares. I could be a traveling merchant. They didn't see me murder the, uh, the guy in his back with the spear. That's all hearsay to them. That's, that's, uh, guilty until proven innocent. And honestly, the system here in the country of wherever the heck we are, has got to change. Anybody have any idea what this map is called? We, we never stop to ask ourselves why. Where are we? What are we doing? Got him over here. Excuse me. I feel like you guys are very quick to judge. You know, as most as most uh, cults are, most tribal leadership. But I wish that you would just give a man a chance. Okay, in this case, a woman, a female, a chance. I'm not that bad if you get to know me, okay? I don't want to be killing you guys. Very fair to say. I, I, you know, there is some pleasure in the adventure of it all. But, uh, yeah. We should probably heal, huh? That just been, it's, it's just been a while since I've been back. Yesterday we didn't play this game. I'm going to be just a little rusty, okay? Just a little bit rusty. Don't worry about it, though. I think one, one day, these guys will know our true purpose... They will learn to respect us. It's a very simple proposition, okay? If you and I trade arrows, you're not living. So if you enjoy your life, there's zero reason for you guys to just not surrender right now. Just a quick surrender will do. You and I, we can get to talking about, uh, you know, what, what we can do for each other. A little quid pro quo. And I can just, you know, slow down time and shoot you in the brains if, if that doesn't work out for you. I'm not even here for you guys. The wanton slaughter has to stop. I'm not even worried about, like, like sneaking around anymore. Give him one of those bad boys straight to the temple. Send him to, send him to the depths. Goodbye. 
Like this guy, like don't make me laugh, you know? You flop around like a little squid and that's your main attack move. Beyond accessing the Doctor Who timeline portal to bring Peter Capaldi back into good ratings. Ugh. It's not that topical anymore. I'm, I'm, I, uh, I assume. I assume uh, it'll. Uh, I assume there's a different doctor now, so to speak. Mr. Cheesem's back from being shot in my chat. You may think I'm being a, a little. Uh, I, I, you may think I'm gassing up the situation a little bit. I'm not. My, my dude tried to play roulette. He got shot. He learned that if you talk shit, you get shot. It's, it's just as simple as that. You wanna you wanna play with the big boys? You gotta play a big boy game. Mr. Cheesenip13 says when it timed me out, it deleted all of my messages. Them's the break, kids, unfortunately. You got shot. Is Russian roulette. I want you to know I played that game twice on my own. I made it through without a scratch. Puts a little bit of excitement into the viewing experience. Puts a little bit of juice. Extra juice into that viewing experience, yeah? Hello? Appears we're we're almost at our at our location. We should try and use it. We bought this. Excuse me? Yeah, we brought this we, we bought this really sick bow. Sick bow, bro. Um this bad boy, the Shadow Hunter bow. And we haven't really explored the different types of uh, of ammunition it's got here. Why don't we why don't we take a look at that? Maybe shoot one of these hard point arrows. Hey, they sell pills for that at the gas station. Hello! Oh dude, he got bodied. My man got shot in the in the snout. And I do feel bad. Mr. Cheesnip, did you did you happen to catch the uh, the journey playthrough yesterday? This might have been a little bit of in the, a little bit more of a, a little bit of an overreach, I guess I was gonna say. Here, the secret is to burn the crap out of him. Burn the crap out of him. Once he's burnt, switch to the hard point. Protect the hard point. Isn't that like a, a Call of Duty thing? Shoot him in the snout. This is going much better than last time, by the way. There is something to be said. Ooh, yeah, he doesn't like that. A rough one, gonna be honest with you there. Let's just, uh, we're, we're gonna retreat, okay? We're gonna fight to run away right now. The most noblest of uh, advancing uh, or escape options. If he could just stop throwing rocks at me, you're gonna change the landscape in an irreparable way. Sip on another one of those bad boys. All right, let's take it easy, take it slow. Again, so what we can do here with my all of my oh, all of my knowledge and expertise here is scan, make sure we got the weaknesses right. But I think we already had that. Uh, this guy is a flamer, and he oh, he needs some of these. Set him on the right path. we get it? We did not get it. It's very close, though. He's very unhappy right now. I, I can see why. He's got a brother here. Keeps using cheat code tactics on him. But I can't help it. I can't help that I'm so good right now. I've barely been hit if we forget about all the different times that I got hit. Barely. Give me the jumps. Give me the jumps. Tell you what, he wants another, he wants, uh, he wants a little bit of a BBQ cookout. More than happy to oblige, my friend. More than happy. There's no way that rock hit me. I'm calling. Somebody play back the tapes, okay? I kind of feel bad for him when he's immolating himself, when he's uh, burning in the flames. I kind of feel bad for him. At the same time, if he's going to pop us up an extra level, I'll absolutely take that advantage there. Uh, what are we low on? We're low on HP. Materials, we're doing just fine on. There's a pouch upgrade available. Excuse me. 
pouch upgrade available? What does that mean? Please tell me, sir. No? Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, here, real quick. While we're at it, let's just take a little bit of a listen. The, the action sometimes gets too high octane for me. You know, the eyes, the body, the soul. Take a little second here. Take a sip of the H2O. That's what happens when you when you mess with the roulette, Mr. Cheesenap. That's all I have to say about that. All I got to say about that. Um, we got one. Pretty redonkulous. We're going to go ahead and take... We had a path, right? We had a path that we were going to be going down. Double shot's pretty dope, going to be honest with you. But at the same time, we're looking at Tinker. We're looking at Tinker. Tinker lets us save. This is like an, uh, an uh, economy of, of life and spirit thing. We got to take the Tinker... The Tinkerbell protocol here. Because... And what do we need to do that? We need disarm traps to do that. Simple enough. Okay, so we're looking at a, at a six banger. So say goodbye to, to levels for a long time, boys. It takes a man that has the conviction and the stamina to carry this out, but we can do it, okay? We can say no. We can say no to upgrades for six levels. Just watch us. I I don't care how long it takes us. We're, we're getting what we need. And that's that. I feel like we should probably take this section just a little bit stealth here, but I'm going to be real with you. Not that good at the stealth. You guys are going to have to bear with me for just a little second while we say hello. Actually, probably tag some targets. It's the first time you've ever seen me do this. Hello. Tag you out. Tag this bad boy. Anybody else want to want to taste? That's what I'm talking about. That's not that bad. That's not that bad at all. This guy is, uh... This is an enemy... This is patient zero. Enemy number one. Whoop. Come over to me, my man. Take a look. Take a peek at what's going down in this tall brush. If you're here, show yourself. With them fighting <laughs> I didn't realize this guy was just chilling right there. Uh, maybe stop doing lunges on the geometry of the world. And pay attention to your outside surroundings. Okay, never mind. He's a genius. He knew before I knew. I'm just gonna... Just gonna do something like that. Now, the real question is, how the heck do these guys know what's going on from, from 19 miles away? I don't think it makes a lot of sense, to be honest with you. Whoa, and there's another one. Appears like there are way more. As soon as we trip the alarm. I realize I am playing a video game. But, uh... uh you know, they could, they could just give me a break. They could attempt to give me a break. Give them one more of these. Oh, one more. Stop moving. Just accept your fate. It was coming. You knew it was coming. She's up on high. She's up on high. Uh, you tell me I've got the high ground. I don't think that's something you want to advertise to your friends and the uh, and commanders down there. Friends again. Whoa, he's getting a little too close to comfort. Okay, just just stay back. There you go. Taking care of it all. Nothing in this world can stop us. Now, of course, if you're watching, you're like, hey, why the heck did all your stuff on the wall go away and you missed the intro of today's episode? But we'll be moving at the end of the month. And so the, uh, there will be a little bit of a delay in streaming. Uh, uh, in the later in the month, unfortunately, something we all had to deal with. I know you guys miss me every night. You go to bed, think about me in your dreams, and you say, "Man, I wish that one streamer can't quite remember his name right now would uh, would not move at the end of the month." But it's gotta happen. Gotta happen. 
fortunately for me, I mean, it's supposed to be, you know, you're always upgrading, you're never downgrading. If somebody's moving, it's a good thing, generally. Just gonna, just gonna hack you to death with my pencil, if that's okay. Appears to be doing zero damage. These guys are getting a little too frisky for their business here. He'd get me with that one. He did get me with that one. It do be like that, though. Um, I do have one more healing potion. Okay. All right, we got this. Whoa! Trying to figure out how to get on the uh, on the little uh, pulley there that can take us across the way. But instead, this guy wants to be a a provocateur. I can help you with some provocation. Is that what you want here? Looks something like this. You just smack you around with the number two for a second. One of those straight to the dome piece. Easy enough. Really appreciate it if you guys gave me some HP. Some health point uh, values here. I think it's fair enough for me to ask after slaughtering an entire encampment. Looks good. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. I realize I'm grubbing around for a... Uh, a handout. I realize this is America. You pull yourself up by your bootstraps, but at the same time, I'm not wearing any shoes right now. No siree. Why wear shoes when you're in your own home and it's carpeted? It's carpeted. You know? That's the one that's the one thing that gets to you. Okay. Forgot we had some of these boxes ready to go. This is Americans on Christmas right here. This is consumption in its highest form. Open the goodies. See what Chris Kringle uh, brought you. I'm not very impressed, Santa. You're going to have to try harder again next year. All I'm asking from the uh, deities and from the you know, weird mythological creatures and uh, weird magical elves is to just show me a little respect. I think it's, it's easy enough to say. Also, this is very cool. Instead of grandstanding, maybe we could actually pay attention to the game that's going on around us. I just said what you guys were all thinking. At the same time, look at this! We're in the frozen wilds. Not really. That's a real place in the game that we're not at. But you gotta love it. The world is rumbling down around you. First, there was an explosion. Norman Reedus. A big blast. And then there was a crossover. I'm telling you, if the, you know, if the PlayStation uh, event tomorrow, if we don't start building up to some sort of Avengers Endgame status with these games, you got all these great narratives, you're creating all these fantastic Another heroes, explosion. and then throw it all into one adventure, you know, video game, Nathan Drake, Aloy, Spider-Man, I guess Spider-Man doesn't count because he's already a part of the Avengers. I'm going to be very disappointed if that doesn't happen. Doesn't that make a lot of sense? Big Daddy from Bioshock can snap the Infinity Gauntlet. It all writes itself. Alright, these are the guys that, that killed us. Or, or killed our, our friend and our one whiny compatriot. We don't really feel too bad about it. Kill the cultist and the death <laughs> Oh, the Deathbringer! What the heck is happening here? Uh, okay. Y'all get any ideas? This thing could, could flatten me while at the same time heat a tortilla. I'll never get to that tower unless you destroy that thing first. Understood. Lots of little weak points. You gotta love it. And... Ten things, Esquire magazine, that they hate to tell you. This guy's got some shock weakness and fire weakness. Okay, I can do that. Why don't we start off with one of these? At the same time? Whoa, he really did not like that shock. Unless we're... He's got a machine gun! The man's got a machine gun. When did the Expendables 4 start filming and why did nobody tell me? Remember, the secret here, of course, is to never, never try to dodge. Just roll. 
all around. We don't really get a time to breathe. Honestly, that, that shock bomb. Oh my god, this guy's got a flamethrower. Are you, are you nuts? You are outside your gourd, my man. You've done quite a lot of damage. Whoa, okay, okay, all right, all right, all right. Chill out for a second, buddy. Yep, that's what I was looking for. Give him a couple of these, send him to the zone. Oh no, you did. <laughs> Mr. Jaysnip, why do you keep banning yourself by, by trying the roulette? You've been very unlucky two times in a row. I promise you, there is a chance for it to not work. Um, I really wish, yeah, we had some HP. Forgot about the extra juice at the bottom. We refuse to, to lose, by the way. Looks a little something like this. Looks a little something like... Oh, okay. I feel like we could probably shoot that gun off. I know that's a thing because I saw the... I saw the trophies for it. The, 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 the sooner we can get the heavy artillery off, the better. The better, for sure. Not... Not... Not liking the flamethrower. It's still going! Are you kidding me? I thought... There's no way it's doing an uh, uh, entire rotation. Okay, I, I think, we're, I'm gonna be honest with you, I think we're dead on this one. <laughs> I think we're dead. I think we've just gotten roasted and toasted. Whoa, thank you, Kyle. 9373 for the host. My man is always on it. He is always on it. If you'll excuse me, anybody coming from Kyle's stream right now, I'm just trying to live. I just want to live. How the heck is that little rat still alive? You guys see that at the bottom of the screen? There's no way. Get up there. Get up there, you fool. Okay. All right. A little bit of safety. A little bit of safety. We gotta get rid of this man right here. This is, this is a real problem. This is a real problem right now. The ground is shaking like, like it's John Husack in freaking 2012 right now. All right, we've done a very smart decision here. Very smart indeed. Okay, never mind. They know exactly where we are. We, we did not fool them. Or maybe we can say we did not fool this guy because he's a, he's a jerk. We're still doing damage to him though. It's kind of funny. This is, this is what we call cheesing and it's very unfair. But look at my health, what do you want me to do? You want me to play fair? Look at my HP. I either die right here, right now, for the cause, or, uh, you know, I play a little scummy, just a little scummy. I know the tactics, I, I, I get the idea, I just, uh, I needed a little bit of help. I'd very much like to see just, just a, uh, <laughs> Excuse me, everybody, the, the militia army that's trying to fire upon me from across the grassy knoll here. Can I just take a second, open some loot boxes? I know you guys will understand. Please, one of these has to have HP. You gotta have some HP, dude. Oh, he doesn't have it. Why can't I eat the fatty meat? Video game law dictates that if you eat a chunk of protein, it must restore some HP. If possible. In case you're wondering why nobody's talking in chat right now, uh, Mr. Cheesenip keeps trying out the roulette function and getting shot in the head by Moobot. I realize that sequence of events might scare some, but nobody's forcing you to do the roulette. You guys are really confused, huh? Nearly got me. Nearly? Oh, we're out of ammo. Are you outside of your mind? Is there somebody behind me? There's no way. This guy. This guy. Don't even step to me, Yun. I, I've got 99 problems. But a bunch of mask wearing dudes ain't one of them. This guy, let's, we gotta take care of this. Yeah, right out of the get. Anybody else want some? Who's, who, who did that? Who threw that? Who shot that? Oh, he, literally the guy all the way across the map. All right, well, this is gonna be the greatest shot you've ever seen. 
This is gonna be the greatest shot you've ever seen. Watch that. Whoa! I can't believe he actually hit us. That's insane. I'll tell you what we need to do right now. We need to chill out. If you don't think we're making it through this, you have no idea who we are. This is the Mecha Will Show. We take gaming very seriously. We don't play around. Um, here's what we're doing. Doing one of these. Take a little peek. He has moved. He's a strategic genius. Okay. If you, uh, if you wish, I will do that. Have to climb to catch her. Uh... What's going on with the with the ratio here? The aim pattern on that was just... Oh! Somebody messed with my scope settings. Stop, stop rolling. Every Everything they do, the bare minimum, is so effective against me. I basically can't handle it unless the enemies are standing dead still. I'm gonna try this one more time. Something like this. Whoa! Nailed it. He's coming. Oh, Lord, he's coming. No, stop the roulette. You crazy man. Stop shooting yourself in the head in my chat. YouTube's not going to like it. Your mom's not going to like it. Your, your whole life. You must live. You must live. He's so proud because he because he survived the chat roulette. It's gonna be the greatest shot. This one is gonna be the greatest shot you've never seen. Begging you to please just carry out my my orders. This guy could kill me with literally one hit, and he apparently is the goddess Artemis in disguise. Wow, that worked. Okay, cool. Did it. First try, no problem. All right, that eclipse officer had a focus. Let's see what's on it. Hey, Mr. Cheesenip13, you want to have a good time? You want to start scratching and surviving? Try this out. See, see what that does. Oh no, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have told him to do that. A little too close. All right, let's find the truth of the of the machines, okay? Let's see what you have to say. Oh, we're getting corrupted. What? What is this? You're getting juiced, honey. The entity. Unacceptable. What is that? Unacceptable. Unacceptable. You spelled it wrong, Mr. Chisholm. Whoa. Alright, they are not happy. And this is Mr. Cheesnip. What the hell was that? Hades? Third time's the charm? Hey. You're not gonna be happy? M mysterious stranger. Did you see that? No um, answer, huh? Wait a second. Figures. Keep getting stranger. Don't worry about the mysterious stranger, okay? We've got some inventory management to do. You're not... <laughs> if you're not, uh... If you're not doing inventory management, you're not playing this game right. You know what I'm saying? So for inventory management, we just need to basically disassemble... Everything not of value. Like these echo shells. Who's, who's paying these guys to be here? It's certainly not me. The rare stuff we gotta keep, there's nothing we can do about it. We gotta trade those for, like, rare weapons or something. Mr. Cheesnip just committed seppuku in chat. Like he's having a fun time over there. Uh, we need more space. More space, please. You know these watchers, they're, all, they're always around. Don't worry about those. You just throw those things to the side like a piece of garbage. Blaze. Okay. All right, we got three spaces. Is that enough? Potentially not. Oh, no. This is the modification slot. We didn't we didn't have enough modification room. That's in crafting. Again, a little bit of inventory management. Never hurt anybody. 
We gotta do something like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. My blood is on your hands. <laughs> I, th I listen. I, I warned you. I just merely gave you the option. Seems like a pretty easy decision. We're gonna do one of these. We're gonna do one of these. Suddenly we're doing 90 million uh, damage per hit. And 10% fire, we're 8% tier. Or 33% handling and more damage. I'm, honestly, I'm a more damage kind of guy. I realize maybe I shouldn't have done that because we're about to pick up a couple of cool mods. Understood, understood. Why don't we check yeah, why don't we check out what we can do for, for this guy? Resist melee? Nah. What are you talking about? Nobody's gonna get near us to even touch us. Let's go for the stealth. Stealth and, and resist shock. That sounds A okay to me. While we're here. Crafting. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Again, just a little bit of inventory management. Please, sir. 52% handle. We just use the Shadow Hunter bow so often. Something like this is just is a no-brainer. Now we got triple bad boys. And uh and this is our second most used item, so we might as well bump it up while we can. So again, the 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 perk that we're going for right now is the one that lets us uh pop these jewels out so we can use them and rearrange them at will. It is not happening right now. Some of these, too. Shock coil. Okay. Like, we're all yoked up, boys. Just that simple. Our skills, remember, we're saving our skills. Okay. Alrighty, then. Well, we've done it all. We don't need to comment on the fact that I was hiding in a corner for that entire uh, that entire section. But if it works, it works. You know, what are you going to tell me? It's like Dark Souls. You know, they're out to get you, and you're out to get them. May the best man win. Just turns out I'm a little bit better than a machine. A little bit better than a computer. Looks, twipe, uh, looks tight, but you can squeeze through. Squeeze through crack, they even told you. Yes. Looks very ancient and mystical. Oh, hello. Oh, one of these again. Where, do, where the heck did we get that cool headdress? You want to tell me where that happened? It's letting me in. It's letting us in. Boys. This Green one's not as good as the back. other door Please back at the start of the game. Inside. It's a slightly dumber robot. Take us inside. Wild. All right. Just can cut like claws. We're here. We're in this. My PlayStation is like a freaking jet engine right now. Fans working twice as hard. Because we're in the Shadow Realm, boys. We've made it to the Shadow Realm. days. Wait, wait, wait. Three hundred. I was about to do the math. I was literally about to pull out the calculator. Years ago. What's going on? All right, hundreds of years. So this, the the machine thinks that I am a doctor named Dr. Sobek or Dobek. One of the two, I yeah, can't remember my eyeballs. I got the memory of an old man. Let's put it like that. And we're overdue with a, with a meeting from Mr. Pharaoh or Dr. Sobek is also. <laughs> no reason to put a, a little railing there. Quite annoying. So let's figure out what's going on. From my best guess right now, my best guess is that this is a. Um, they called us the entity back there. So I'm, I'm actually kind of confused as to what the story is. You know, apparently we're somebody special. 
And that's why everybody's been sent out to kill us, you know? The classic Skyrim setup. So we're like the Dragonborn of Horizon. The entity. Maybe it's a Neo thing. Maybe we're meant to like bring peace to the to the robots. I don't know. Oh no! You fool. Okay. Alright, that's we somehow survived that. Um, however, we also share a lot of genetics or visual uh markers with this uh human from a, a long time ago. So we're, maybe we're a genetic clone. Maybe it's Hideo Kojima. Listen, everything is uh B. 16. Everything's taken from somewhere. Every storyline's already been told. Okay, we could head to the left. That is true. We could head to the right. Oh, stop playing roulette, you crazy man. I can't believe it. It's got to be a one out of six chance, but you've hit it three out of four times. The math just doesn't check out. Explore a little bit here. Excuse me. I'd like to hear the thing. Oh, I, I. That's a weird design decision too, to be honest. The protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, quantum okay. encryption, black court stuff, way beyond military. Yeah, grade. real black court that's stuff. That's what you demanded, so that's what we delivered. You don't code something you can't crack. All we need is a backdoor. Upload the latest service pack update, and the problem goes away. You specifically forbade us from leaving anything resembling a backdoor in mm. code. Every protocol to Black Court standard. Something went wrong. Words. Look, if you need me to fudge some projections, it's nothing we haven't done before. I don't need fudged projections. I need a way to reassert control over the Hearts team or swarm. I don't know what to tell you, Ted. You're asking the impossible. Uh oh. So codes. They needed. Codes of some kind to control the machines, machines got out of control. But they got out of control. That's Terminator. That sounds bad. I told you every story comes from somewhere. Don't don't feel bad. It's okay. It's I, I like I really like the, the the rollout that's happening here. I I really feel like there are levels to this, and I feel like I'm learning new things as I'm going along. This is not something I necessarily would have guessed right from the get go. But of course, you know, human uh, pride and ego has caused us to fall yet again. Wish we could take some notes from that. To be honest. Was there another room? I actually really like this uh, extra lore that we're getting. Is there another room down here? There was. The B9 bros. Hello. Speak to me, my friends. My ghosts from the dead. Okay. In we go. All right. Well, that's fine. We get one, one little tiny bit of lore. They're just leaving us breadcrumbs. But we'll take them. We will take them. Go to Ted Farrow's office. Oh, you've revealed your game plan a little bit too early. Now I know that we're going to Ted's office. And with that knowledge, bro, you don't even know. What I can do with that knowledge. I can. You know? Keep that H2O coming. You want to see something funny, Mr. Cheesenip? I survive every time. It's way too good. I, I, I do think the system's a little biased towards me, but what are you going to say? You know, what are you going to do? Sector of self-sustaining, fully automated technology. 
From revolutionary consumer products close to home, like the Ferro Focus, yeah, what I'm wearing. to the dynamic chariot line of peacekeeping robots halting bloodshed in conflict zones across the ah, globe. Ah, you fools. Ferro remains committed to making the future smarter, brighter, safer, and always surprising. You fools. Ferro automated solutions for every problem of life. Ferro Monge Industries. Solution. Went from so rapping straight into the robot game. So they made machines and devices. I guess those things were common in their world. Makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Aloy? Yo, but like a metal alloy. But her name is Aloy. I just put those two together because there's it's a metal world. I wonder if that name has something to do with uh, what's going on. You know, if they're playing some, some hidden tactics on us. Lots of uh, Hollywood directors love doing that. Take a look at this. Hello. Reception log. Okay, guys. We're going to take a reading. This might be an episode where we get through a lot of lore, but I hear the story in this game is fantastic, so I would recommend that you sink yourself in. Mr. Cheesnip asks why. Because I am the god here. I rule this land. That's why. Well, you got lucky on that one. Uh, okay. Reception log. Uh, Field Commandant Dying of the Indo-Malay Agricultural Combine arrived with his delegation. Refreshments to be served for their sales presentation on the chariot line. The chariots are the, I guess, maybe the very first. It's like the Omnic Crisis. It's some Overwatch stuff, right? Okay, so understood. Food will be vegetarian only. Sander Agnew, Vice President of Territorial Integrity from Fresh Grounds Coffee Global. All right, so it's like a big corporate scheme like Outer Worlds. All right, I'll stop bringing up narratives if you want me to. Um, freshness to be served. Make sure you use Tacoma Blend. So that just happened. Called security. So that so like a couple minutes later, 10.07, 10.12, janitorial to clean up the coffee that was spilled. Actually, more like thrown. I wasn't aware the Indo Malay Combine grows coffee beans and that Fresh Grounds acquisition team tried to take their fields by force repeatedly. I think come in that Dang had Agnew by the hair for a second there. Who schedules these things? I'm going to drop a line to sales. This can't happen again. So these two things happen at the same time the agriculture combine and the uh territorial integrity dudes and they had some corporate infighting very interesting all very interesting i get you love the da, 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 da. Little, little audio cues in the background all righty uh, yeah, let's take, let's take a peek inside. I know it's been, uh, we started just a little bit late today because of our because of technical difficulties. A, mm. a group of people not unlike a tribe. And they made machines. Yeah, go on. Okay. I've uploaded some data files to your focus. And they'll help you understand. All right, we got lore. We got lore. Bear with me for a second. I find lore intriguing and, and some people do not. And some people might skip this section, but you know what? You're here on Twitch. You got to bear with me. We're going to learn all about Pharaoh Industries. Pharaoh Monch Industries. Pharaoh Automated Solutions is an American multinational corporate entity that, pro that produces robots. <clears throat> Sounds good. Like Cyber Life. Okay, knock it off. Uh, though its business model consists of military and defense contracts, as of 2063, so a little ways into the future, they ranked number one on the Fortune 500. Portion 5, sorry, uh, by gross revenue and profit for 10 years in a row, world record. Founded by Theodore Farrow, whose office we're going to, or whose office we're in right now, can't tell. From Salt Lake City, Utah, the company developed several promising robot prototypes, but failed to break into markets dominated by then giants, General Synthetics, and RE Corp. This changed in 2038 with the debut of the at of the Alfred line of levitating personal servitors which generated exceptional sales just like fallout knock it off lifting the company onto the fortune 50 for the first time profits tripled in the 2040s as their environmental efforts uh led by elizabeth Sopek. that is the that's the doctor that we're uh that we apparently look like or share some genetic code with they might be our ancestor like assassin's creed okay stop that just stop stop the video games uh, Capitalated FAS to the head of that sector. In 2049, the wake of successful green and climate cleanup efforts, worldwide approval ratings of FAS exceeded 90%. 
Ted Ferrer was hailed across media as the man who saved the world. He owes the emergence of the FAS as a military contractor in the 2040s to cemented its status as the world's wealthiest corporation with a record market capitalization of over $23 trillion. By 2055, FAS controlled 61% of the market share for the automated military platforms holding contracts with 353 nations, trans governmental organizations, and corporate entities. Today, its holdings exceed the second largest corporation. FB Mobile High is our Facebook. <laughs> it's Facebook. Zuckerberg is real. And the jokes I was making actually make sense now. Uh, okay. Yeah, quick summary. Ba basically pretty easy. The uh... <sighs> There was an underdog robotics company who gained dominance not only by creating a personal servant butlers, robot butlers, but also by having a very environmental friendly uh, face to the world, which was headed by our ancestor or our clone or something like that or were the clone of the of the original and uh and we became to dominate and through that domination we eventually got some military contracts negotiated them and then things went wrong very interesting let's learn about ted fire are you guys ready for this it's simple listen again if you want to tune yourself up that's fine but I'm here. I, I need to learn this. I need to. I really want to sit here and absorb the juice of this game, the real freaking carnal meat of what's happening right now. Let's learn about old Teddy Boy, Teddy Rugspin. Born December 24, 2013. That's hilarious. Okay, so he's already been born by today's standards. An American entrepreneur and business magnate. He is the founder of Faro Automated Solutions. The largest corporation of all time, the world's wealthiest individual, and the first ever trillionaire, Jeff Bezos. You go suck it. Born and raised in Salt Lake. So yeah, we know about that. Enrolled at the University of California, Los Angeles. He studied business for two years, dropped out in 2033, stopped FAS. It's the classic genius situation, right? Bill, the Bill Gates dropout. Though it struggled at first, the company broke through the end of the troubled 2030s with its popular lines of personal servitors and bodyguard bots. Then it exploded when its famous line of green robots led the race to solve the climate crisis. It's all like they, they picked a, a line, a future line that makes sense to our current. Like they really tried to make it a realistic um, through line for our own personal history right now happening in the real world. All right, you guys ready for, for some speed reading? Led the climate crisis during the 2040s clawback. At the end of that decade, FAS mo uh, opened a military defense branch, dominating the world market for automated military platforms. By 2053, the success of FAS has made Mr. Farrell the world's best-known businessman, one of its most sought-after speakers, and a major voice in biologics, culture, and international affairs. All right, so he's a real—he's—he's uh, he's Jeff Beasy. That's who he is. I understand. Or like he's like Elon Musk, honestly. Probably a little bit crazy, you know. Mr. Cheesenip's got a very important question, not for this game. We're about to get to Elizabeth Sobek. Elizabeth Sobek. So we'll read that in a second. Mr. Cheesenip says, In Dark Souls, should I be using my Life Gems or my Estus Flask as my main healing? The thing with Dark Souls 2 is that they 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 cap or they sort of like cut you off from Estus at the start of the game. So it changes as the game goes on. The more Estus you have, the more you should use it. What I like to use Estus for is before and after battles. When there's nobody else around because it's slow to drink but it does a lot of hp so like you kill people if you need to heal during a battle i recommend popping a couple of those life gems but in the early game life gems are kind of your main source of healing and then as the as you get more estus flasks i don't know how many you have by now you will uh you'll be doing all right all right youtube sorry for the tangent read one more of these Elizabeth Sobek, born in March 11th, 2020, so she's young comparatively to Ted Theodore Logan, is an American scientist, roboticist, and engineer, widely regarded as one of the greatest minds of the 21st century. Born and raised outside of Carson City, Nevada, she enrolled at Stanford University, age 13, earned a, <laughs> earned a BS degree in experimental physics and computer science at age 16. She's a genius. She's a genius. Okay, she completed her PhD in robotics and artificial intelligence design. Hey, wait a second. We might be a robot. I'm just, it's dawning on me. It's possible, okay? Like Battlestar Galactica, okay. Stop with the pop culture. Okay, she's uh, completed her PhD at Carnegie, and then she joined Faro Automated Solutions as a junior scientist the same year, rising quickly to chief scientist at the age of 22, which is just nuts. Over the next eight years, her green robot designs played a vital role in realizing the environmental cleanup and detoxification efforts of the clawback decade. So that's climate change needed to happen. We had to, and... 
scientists would probably laugh because the clawback decade, I think, was last decade. <laughs> we had to make some real changes. Anyway, propelling FAS to the forefront of its field. In 2048, she suddenly resigned. Whoops. I don't know why I'm trying to control the game with my mouse now. It's not how that works. 2048, she suddenly resigned, protesting the company's pivot to automated military. So she didn't like the fact that they took their prevalence and joined, you know, the Marines or did contracts for the U.S. military or the Pentagon. Hello, Minty Pup. Nice to see you. We're just doing a little bit of light reading happening right now. It's way late for you. What are you doing here at 7 p.m. U.S. Standard Time? Okay, wait a second. You ready for some, for some speed reading? Where was I? Over the next eight years, your green robot designs played a vital role in realizing the environmental cleanup and detoxification efforts of the clawback decade, propelling the FAS to the forefront of its field. In 2048, she suddenly resigned from FAS, protesting the company's pivot to automated military technologies. In 2049, she founded Miriam Technologies, a firm devoted to life-positive robotics and other technologies. Miriam has since become one of the world's largest suppliers of green robots, winning numerous awards and accolades, including the 2053 Nobel Peace Prize for Physics and the 2056 Rachel Carson Award for Environmental Progress. Is important to know. Apparently. Yeah, I started Dark Souls 3 at like 3 a.m. Why can't she watch a stream? I mean, I'm not, I'm not gatekeeping. I'm just saying, hey, it's, it's a little, probably a little past the bedtime. It's, it's past my bedtime and it's 7 o'clock. Um, what did you say earlier, Cheese Nip? Missed you. Besides sup, pup. Oh, the human brain loves rhyming schemes, doesn't it? You only have two, so thank. Okay, I understand. So yeah, that uh, you know what to rely upon. We've done our due diligence here. Okay, so cool. We're done with the reading. We're done with the reading. I promise you. Um, we've seen all we can see. That's not true. We, we definitely have a, a room to go into, and this might be like the most mind-bending room that we've been to yet. But unfortunately for you, YouTube, we're gonna pause it here. It's been about a 51-minute episode, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did the thumbs up, you made it this far. Why not just give it a thumbs up? It helps me out in the uh, YouTube system. is is free and uh, very easy to do. If you haven't, of course, subscribe. You can see all of our content. We'll be putting up our journey playthrough from um, yesterday, uh, like June 10th, so uh, June 9th. Uh, so you guys can check that out too on YouTube. So, you know, subscribe. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next episode.